the area of the trapezoid. Okay, this is a trapezoid. All right, uh, a trapezoid has um, it's a quadrilateral one, two, three, four sided quadrilateral with two parallel sides. Now the parallel sides are the 30 miles and the six miles. So they are parallel. And if you wanted to identify the base, really I have two bases, don't I? You could call this the base one and the base two, or vice versa. You could call this the base one and base two. All right, the height is 12. Now you know we want to use the base times the height, okay? But I have two bases here, two bases, don't I? So what we want to do is find the average of the two bases. Now if you had two grades, say you made a 90 on a test and a 100 on a test, all right? What is your average? Well, you add 90 and 100 together, you get 190, and then you divide by 2 for an average of 95, right in between those two numbers, right? So you add the numbers, and then take half of that result, or divide by 2. So that's my formula. The area, 1 half, and then we add the bases together. Add the two bases, take half of that. This is the average size, the, the size of the average base. Okay, this base that we have, which is the average base, times the height. All right, so here we go. One half, and we're going to add the two bases. So put your first base here, your second base here. We add them together, we're going to get 36, aren't we? 36 times the height, which is 12. So let's write that. Uh, 30 plus 6 is 36. I wrote 36 as a fraction, write 12 as a fraction, okay? Then we get to reduce the 2, and of course that's miles times miles, square miles. The 2 goes into the 2, the 2 also goes into 36. 2 and the 2, once. 2 and 36, 18, all right? So it looks like the average of the two bases if, of 36 and 6 is 18. 18 is the average of the two bases. That times my height will be 216 square miles.